What's up guys? I appreciate you being here. Today, I want to share with you quickly how to get MetaTrader 4 running on your Mac. This is something that I've always been asked about and I've always wondered why MetaTrader 4, the company itself, doesn't just make a Mac-friendly version. They've always caused us to go through like little loopholes to get MetaTrader 4 running on either a MacBook or an iMac like I have here at my desk. So today I have a download for you, a link in the description, that's going to take you to a website where you're going to be able to download MetaTrader 4 to your Mac totally free. So click the link in the description. What it's going to do is bring you to a website that looks just like this. FX Choice is a Forex broker, not one that I endorse, not one that I've even used before, but they do offer this download for free. So if you click the link in the description, it's going to reroute you here. It's going to automatically start downloading the program for you when you come to this link. Once it's downloaded, you're literally going to drag it into your applications folder. It'll prompt you to do so. And once you do that, you can double click it, open it up, and you'll have MetaTrader 4 pop up on your screen, probably logging you into a demo account just like it did for me here. Once we see this, I started to get excited. I'm like, oh my God, we actually have MetaTrader 4 running on my Mac with no other Parallels program, no Wine software program running, nothing. Just direct download this DMG from the link that I put in the description and you're going to have MetaTrader on your Mac or on your MacBook, wherever you're using this program. You can also log into your accounts here on the left side. You can see that. You can use indicators just as you normally would. They're all listed here and you can use EAs, expert advisors, which is what I'm going to talk to you guys about next. I want to explain to you how I set up my favorite position size calculator. A lot of you have asked me why I stopped using TradingView to place my trades. It was mainly because of this position size calculator that I've been using that drove me back to MetaTrader 4. The position size calculator is called Risk Calculator. That's literally what it's called. The website is riskcalculator.app. And I actually put a link in the description that you can use. It'll send you right to the website. I've been communicating with their support team. They're honestly a really solid company. They've helped me solve a few little issues. I've actually helped them solve some bugs. So I have a little relationship going with them. And that's why I wanted to kind of give them a nice little plug here and also give you guys a link that you can go directly here and grab their I guess you could call it software because basically what you do here is you pay $10 a month to use this position size calculator. And what it does is it allows you to put your risk percentage in, the risk ratio that you're looking to trade. You can measure buy or sell positions and then you can custom close those positions right from the MetaTrader 4 terminal. This is just like some of those Bluetooth keypads that I know a lot of people use on the internet, magic keys and other things like that. I don't think you need the shit on your desk. I think you can just use it right here on MetaTrader 4 and it's even easier. I'm sure if I wanted to, I could program these to certain hotkeys on my keyboard. I just don't do that. And really, the company itself here lays out how to set this thing up for you super, super easy. But what I'm going to do now is just show you how I set up that risk calculator app. If you go sign up for them, just try it out. It's 10 bucks a month. Try it out. You're going to love it. Because I know when you switch currency pairs, it's hard to calculate your pip to dollar ratio, your pip to dollar value sometimes, and this app is going to do it for you. So I'm going to show you how to set it up here because I had to get on chat with them today in order to get it set up for me. So normally, you can just open the back end of your MetaTrader 4, you can show package contents and click and drag it in to the MetaTrader 4 back end and then it'll show up. But that won't work. In order to get the expert advisor, see how mine shows up right here? In order to make that happen, what you need to do is go to File, Open data folder. Once you have the risk calculator downloaded on your Mac, like you sign up, you get the download from them. You have to put your account number in because it links up to a certain account. That's how it's going to work. You then, once you have it on your desktop, you go to my Mac desktop. You can scroll down. I should have it right here. Yep, risk calculator. See, it's an EX4 file. You're going to right click in on that. Copy it. This is where I got confused, so make sure you're paying attention. Copy it. Go Click this arrow right here, back it up. Now we go into my computer. You go to Drive C. Oops, Program Files. Then you go to MetaTrader 4, MQL4 right here. Then you go to Experts, and then you're going to right-click in, and you're going to paste it. I'm not going to do it because it's already right here, since I already have it. Then it'll pop up. You quit this right here. Restart your MetaTrader 4 and you'll see it right here in the bottom left corner. Then, once it's here, you have to do a few more things. You have to first tick the auto trading box on right here so that little red square turns into a green play sign right there. Turn that on. Also go to Tools, then Options. Come into 
Let's see if we can find it here. There's just a couple, and this is all explained when you sign up. They have a PDF that shows you. So you'll want to have the DLL imports checked off. Make sure that box is full. And when you download the risk calculator app and you sign up from their website here, they're going to give you a PDF that shows you a video and like step-by-step -step instructions on how to get started. So the premium is on sale. Like I said, it's not $15 now, it's $10. This is the one that I'm signed up for. The reviews are really good. And again, their support staff is awesome. So you can use the link in the description to get MetaTrader 4 for free. And you can also use the link, second link in the description to get this risk calculator app. And again, this is their main reason why I'm not using TradingView to execute my trades anymore. So now, once we're all downloaded and set up, what I'm going to do is come into here. I can go to my finder. I can eject the MetaTrader download thing. I'm good to go. MetaTrader will be saved. I have it on my dock right here at the bottom now, and I'm rocking and rolling. So now, with just one download, I've had MetaTrader 4 on my Mac. I don't need Parallels. I don't need any other Wine converter software, nothing like that. And it's working great. So I hope this video helps you guys. I know a lot of people have been probably looking for this. And now as technology evolves, we get better solutions to our problems. So check out the risk calculator app. I'll do another video maybe if you guys need. Just put in the comments below on how I'm using it. Like I can show you the buy versus the sell and make it all happen for you. But again, if you sign up and try it out, you get a whole PDF of instructions and everything like that. I would definitely recommend it. It's awesome. I hope the video helps you guys. I appreciate you being here. As we uh, push through the rest of the week here, getting excited for June, we have the Trading Accelerator event coming up. Uh, I sold like two more tickets this morning, which is awesome, so we're almost sold out. Hopefully by the time you're watching this video, we're sold out. But I appreciate all the interest for people as we're coming out of COVID to want to come travel and want to come learn with us. These live events are the best place to learn. These videos help, right, when I'm doing a little tutorial like this, but when we're talking about the tactics and the systems of how we're actually trading, the live events are the best place for it. So again, I don't want to drift too much. I hope this video helps. You guys got to see how to put MetaTrader on your Mac and how to set up the risk calculator that I use. I hope it helps. Have a good rest of your trading week, everybody.